Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Amanda, this is the Happy Homestead, and it's time to get caught up on some tea. I just made myself a cup of nettle, chamomile, and lemon balm tea. I still love my morning latte, but I have been immersing myself into herbal medicine and all of the amazing things that that can bring as to one's health and how to use each of the herbs. So I specifically chose this variety of a blend because I want calmness, <laughs> I want serenity, and uh, overall well-being while we chat. So today is Sunday, January 28th, and I have not filmed for the Three Rivers Challenge for dinner for the Pantry Challenge. Um, I think I in so it was Wednesday and Thursday night. I did not film. Now Wednesday, I actually did film it, but I did not edit or even obviously upload it. I just, <laughs> I just walked away. Wednesday was a train wreck for me and my family. And so even during the filming process, it was like, I can't, <laughs> I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this to you. I can't do this to my family. We were a train wreck. We were all hangry, tired, you know, all of the things. But we had egg roll in a bowl, which is always a hit. And I will absolutely do that again so you can see it. But I basically took some ground pork and I seasoned it uh, with like some five spice Chinese powder. And I did garlic and onions and ginger onion did i say that and then um cabbage i have a cabbage in the fridge i have a couple of them so i took one of the cabbages chopped that up and then we added it with some rice and some soy sauce and sriracha for some of us it was delicious i will do that another night and then thursday night this this past week was just really busy for all of us and i think i was just a little burned out um getting more burned out just from the filming and the editing and the uploading daily and I know that's my choice um, but Thursday night it was really quick for the kids it was chicken fingers and sweet potato fries and I think I'd made that last week or the week before and it was just a quick win for them we still have so many leftovers and trying to work through that as well Friday night I gave up I waved the white flag and we went out to dinner the three of us, because my husband had to work, but we brought him some to go, eventually what, brought him some food. We went to get sushi. <laughs> and it was so divine and so delicious. But not having to cook that night, even though Friday is usually pizza, it was just like, I just needed a break. And I know you, you can relate to that. Sometimes we just get a little burned out and we just need a break. And it was so good. It was delicious. Now, to be fully transparent, between the three of us and my husband's to-go order and tax and tip, it was like $115. That's insane. I mean, I know it's expensive, but I, yeah, you know, when you don't do it that often, it, it's like, <clears throat> you know, gets to you a little bit. Uh, but we owned it, <laughs> we obviously paid it, and we enjoyed it. And then, okay, so that was Friday night. So then last night, Saturday, what did we do? Leftovers. Oh no, no, I made pizza. So I made the pizza last night that normally we would have had Friday. And that was good. Um, so tonight we're back on track. I have a chicken in the oven, in the Dutch oven in the oven, and it's going to be ready in about 30-ish minutes. Same way I always do chicken. It's in a covered cast iron Dutch oven. I sprinkle it with Redmond Real Salt lemon pepper seasoning. Put the lid on, put it in the oven. It's 375 degrees. It's about a three pound chicken, so it's kind of smaller. But between an hour and a half and two hours, it's usually done perfectly. I also took a butternut squash that we had in our pantry and diced that coated it with a little bit of bacon fat, maybe about two tablespoons of bacon fat to give it that really delicious kind of bacon smoky flavor, as well as salt, pepper, sage, and maple syrup. So that'll be a side. So that's roasting in the oven also. 
And I had two small pumpkins, pie pumpkins, from our garden last summer that, you know, every time I go in the pantry, I just see them and they're like taunting me. That I know the moment they go bad is going to be it's coming soon. And so I decided to cut them open and they're roasting in the oven as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'll figure something out. Everything is out of the oven. I'm so excited to eat. So I've pulled out some sauerkraut. This is lemon dill sauerkraut that we can have, as well as our maple roasted butternut squash. I also just sliced up some sourdough bread of our homemade bread with some butter. We can add that, but you gotta see this. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. So excited to eat. <laughs> So excited to eat and as always I think you probably know this if you've been following along every time I cook a chicken we take whatever's left minus the meat right all of the meat gets parsed off and put into the fridge and used for something else but all of the bones the juice the tendons everything that's not eaten it's gonna go in the instant pot and we're going to make a bone broth I do this every time I cook a chicken Careful, that's really hot. Oh. I don't know how I'm able to do this. <laughs> but, um, and then I slow cook it like on uh, low pressure for about two hours and I do it in the middle of the night. And then in the morning, I will strain that and then either can it or put it in the fridge and use for later this week. Not sure yet what that's gonna look like. But whenever you roast a chicken, <laughs> Make broth. Make broth. Okay. Sour. Okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.